Hello, I'm Stanley Lucien. Welcome to the HTS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The opposition, United Workers' Party, will present some of its candidates for the next general elections, due in just under two years. The UWP lost nine of the 11 seats it held during the 2016 to 2021 term in office. The candidates will be presented at Sunday's meeting on the William Peter Boulevard. So we ask, do you look forward to the United Workers' Party's list of candidates for the next general elections? We took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. Oh yes, definitely. Definitely. I'm looking forward that we got a change in Viewfort for, for sure. I heard Lady Lee is going to for Viewfort. I, am, I, I support that. Yeah, I want to see what they have, what they can offer, what difference can they make, what can they do for St. Lucia, what changes they can bring. I'd love to see the list of candidates. I'll be happy to see how many local people we have, how many people Amada will represent us, how many people that will do the best for Viewfort and even St. Lucia and the whole. Despite of the fact that um, I'm not too familiar with the list as yet, though speaking from a library perspective, um, we have an idea as to who will be the individual will be. Um, I just want to say that this is serious business, especially in today's world. Um, it takes more than a hundred percent commitment, dedication. I'm only hoping that St. Lucia can find a list of young, fresh minds, you know, to take us to the next step. Of course, it's fundamental right. Uh, it is our constitutional right as far as persons wanting to represent the district. I wish them all the best, but um, I need to again mention that this is serious, serious business in today's world and one should give it some serious thought. I look forward to a fresh new set of candidates with fresh ideas and fresh, honest, hard workers, not no bluffers. Um, and people willing to put the country before self. These are the kind of people I hope that candidates that are presenting are these set of people. If not, we will be back to the same drawing board as before. And that's what I hope for. Better people, honest people, hard workers, putting country before self. Well, in a way, yes, because I'm looking forward to people in the community that can really reach out, that can make a difference, that can make a change. Because normally over the years I've seen politics, people just come into politics, they tell you one stuff and yes, we all depending, we all giving them a chance to see what they can achieve and in the ending is a no-no. Ah, mouvle wè, mouvle wè, c'est mouvle wè. Mouvle wè, qui moun ki honnête, qui moun ki kai fè pli mè dai pays ya, qui moun ki kai pli communiqué ak se moun an communiqué an pays ya. En particulier, mon vieux fort, mon temps, il y a un monde qui a vieux fort. Mon temps, c'est moi, mon nom. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to, to this. And one of the things that I want to say, whosoever is sending up, once they can have the plight of your fortunes, because we're stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. It has been so hard for your fortunes because we're not included in everything that they do in St. Lucia. Your fortunes are in the end of the tape. So if these people are going to make a difference in the lives of your fortunes, your fortunes, Unequivocally, if they're going to make a difference in the life of you Fortunes, then come on, come on, come on board. As, as a national, I took interest in, in, um, in, in the politics of the country and, and how it impacts on our livelihood. However, it is often asked, what is the qualification of a politician? And from my perspective, I am of the view that if you have, you've got to be nationalistic, you've got to be patriotic in whatever you do, and you have to be um, people-driven as to development. It is important that those persons are well profiled and they have demonstrated a level of commitment to the community as to what they have done, what, where they have served. Do they have that kind of um, interest in people's development? However, it is required as by our, our democracy that we um, have opposition, we have parties so that we can be able to um, clearly compete in this area. I once had political ambition, but however, because of the nature of the politics in St. Lucia, it has betrayed me a lot because to me it's unethical and I'm hoping that those persons uphold certain ethical you know, groundings that will guide them. And I'm hoping that a good state of candidate will come out of this, this particular initiative so that we can have a more competitive political environment that, that 
redounds on the people's development. Well, I am looking forward to it, but I've heard a few candidates that um, has been mentioned, and I don't see I like it. Don't make any sense to me. They they are just not what Saint Lucia needs to run Saint Lucia. Take for example Lady Lee. I heard Lady Lee came and Lady Lee didn't come with anything new. She came with the same thing about um, uh, healthcare and the same thing about CIP and in her deliberation not once did she try to promote herself or did she say what I can do. All she did was to try and promote Chastney, just another loyal slave but nothing more than that. The only one candidate I, I, I have been impressed with is the one from Miku. That's the only candidate I was impressed with though he spoke, although he's not a candidate. He's not somebody that can run St. Lucia, but at least he came out and he spoke on agriculture and he spoke on different things. And I, I was impressed in the way he spoke as, as a young man. But apart from that, the other candidates I've heard, they're a waste of time. I am looking forward to it and I am quite ready quite quite ready because i want to know the candidates no i'm not concerned about um uwp's list of candidates the only thing concern i have and the only thing i want to see that the uwp stay right there where, where they are yeah thank you so much yeah till doomsday they should they, they can stay right where they are thanks for those responses and now to our new discussion the Royal St. Lucia Police Force appears to have stepped up its level of activity in the community with road checks and searches. This has resulted in the confiscation of guns and ammunition and arrests of some suspects. The new acting police commissioner, Vern Gard, has promised tough, intelligence-driven policing with a community outreach component. So we ask, will the increased police activity reduce the crime rate? Voting is easy. Just log on to hcsandlucia.org and vote. Remember, our ePoll team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HCS News Force from 7pm for the results and the new discussion.